Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we're going to do a 5 by 3 kitchen table. It's a buffet top with one drawer. These are very popular. We've done quite a few of them, and today I'm going to show you how to do this. But first, make sure you get on and subscribe to our channel. There's so many cool projects that we do, and well, let's start on another one. Alright, I thought I'd take a quick break here, show you the difference, what we're doing here. Sanding it down to the bare wood, you can see where we started and where we're going. So, let's keep going. More sanding to happen. Alright, it is now time to put some stain on. We've got Dixie Belle No Pain Gel Stain and we're going to do it in walnut color. Really nice product. So as you will see, this product goes on real nice and we'll just stain the top and then we'll pick out our color uh, paint for the base. The next thing we'll know, we'll have this thing completed. So next step, let's put some stain on. stained we let it dry now what we're going to use is our Dixie Bell clear coat flat put one uh, one layer of that on here nice sealant for this and then we can start painting this base so follow along as we start putting some clear coat on it We got the top completed. Now what we're going to use is our Dixie Bell drop cloth white to get the rest of this painted. As you can see, I have two supervisors over here to your right working really hard. So I guess it'll just be me painting today. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove all the legs and I'm actually going to paint inside here. It gives it a nicer clean look and if somebody comes over and buys it, we remove the legs, it looks clean. And we can do the inside here. So if somebody ever moves also, they take the legs off it's all painted, they don't have to worry about trying to match it up perfect when they put it back together. And I'll show you a little trick on how we paint these legs nice and quick. But first, let's get all these legs off, let's paint the frame, get the door taken care of, and uh, then we'll start painting the legs. Okay, so I put the hardware back on, that way we don't lose it, but I'm going to show you the process of how we uh, paint the legs here. So what we do is we get some paint and we start at the bottom and I just rotate it around, getting it all on there. Just using the rotation of the, of the leg. I'm just going to work my way up that way. Once I get to here, to the top, I'll just paint straight. But it gives me a place to hold on to once I get to the top. So let's just finish this leg and work on the next one. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got it all painted. Now what we're going to use is our clear matte spray wax by Dixie Bell. Easy peasy wax. It really is. What we do is we just take the cap off and we're going to spray the whole product down. I've got an old sock here. We'll wipe off the excess and we'll have a nice wax finish to it. And it's matte, so I really like that on top of it. So, let's begin. completed we use the drop cloth white by Dixie Bell we also use their easy peasy spray matte wax to finish it off one drawer butcher block top next thing we'll do is post it up remember to hit that little subscribe button below like our videos and follow us on Instagram Facebook we always doing projects and we're always looking for new followers and comments so if you see something that you like let us know